Welcome. Today I will show you the adventure horror sci-fi thriller film from 2019, Sweetheart. A woman named Jen washes ashore on a deserted island. When she regains consciousness, she finds a man that she knows named Brad also washed up nearby. Brad has a large chunk of coral sticking out of his stomach. Jen tries to treat Brad's wound, but he dies from his injury. Before dying, Brad asks, did you see it? Jen is alone on the island. She pulls a flare gun off of Brad's life vest. She investigates the small island and finds things left by a family previously stranded thereon. Jen finds a small box of matches in their stuff. After a storm at night, she finds a number of dead fish washed up on the shore. Jen also finds a mutilated dead shark amongst them with large gashes along its side. As she wanders the island, Jen comes across some graves of those stranded there before her. Jen then buries Brad just along the shoreline. She uses one of the matches to build a fire to cook some of the fish she recovered from the beach. The next morning, Jen finds Brad's grave open and his body missing. She realizes she must not be alone despite nobody else being on the small island. Jen immediately makes herself a spear. The following day, Jen sees some of her luggage and other items floating just off the island. She swims out to retrieve them and sees a gigantic hole in the bottom of the ocean just off the shore. That night, Jen hears a plane fly overhead. She shoots off a flare to no avail. As the flare descends to the ocean, Jen sees the silhouette of a creature walking out of the water and onto the sand. Jen hears the creature making sounds as it walks nearby the foliage in which she hides. This is clearly the thing that stole Brad's body. The creature does not find Jen, and retreats to the ocean. The next day, Jen tries to swim off the island by floating on her luggage and life vest, but it is too unsteady. She finds a hollow log to sleep in. Jen is awakened that night by the creature attacking the log but it eventually loses interest and goes away. When daylight returns, Jen manages to kill a small shark with her spear. She suspends it from the top of a tall tree and hides in a nearby hole she dug in the sand. Jen falls asleep. When she wakes up, she sees that the creature has pulled the shark off the tree. The corpse of another person Jen knows floats ashore. She ties the corpse to the top of the trees and again lies in wait. This time, she stays awake long enough to watch the creature emerge from the ocean. It is enormous, easily reaching the corpse suspended towards the top of a tree. It is also clearly very strong. Although another plane flies overhead, Jen cannot try to signal it with the creature on the shore. It eats the corpse and returns to the ocean Jen assembles a hammock near the top of some trees as far inland as she can. She hopes the hammock will provide safety from the creature. Late that night, the creature ventures inland. It manages to find and knock down the hammock. Jen flees for her life, with the creature swimming just off the shore to keep up. It jumps back ashore and Jen stabs it with her spear. The creature knocks Jen aside and advances on her. However, a thunderclap scares the beast and it flees back into the ocean. The following day, Jen sees a life raft floating just off the island. On it are two more people she knows, her boyfriend Lucas and Brad's girlfriend Mia. They come ashore and embrace, Jen urges them to flee the island on the raft as soon as possible. She tells them about the monster. Having almost died while trapped at sea and thinking Jen is delusional, the other two refuse to leave. It is established that the boat they all were all on together sank. Mia and Jen discuss their experiences. Mia says dying on the raft would be misery, while Jen maintains that staying on the island is even worse. When Lucas and Mia again refuse to leave, 
Jen tries to depart on the raft by herself. The other two catch her in the act and knock Jen unconscious. Jen regains consciousness tied to a tree at night. She immediately begins rubbing the rope binding her against the trunk to fray it and free herself. Mia talks about how Jen is untrustworthy and that she doesn't believe the creature exists. Lucas tries to talk to Jen alone, but the couple begin to argue. It becomes apparent that the others on the boat were Lucas' friends. He brings up that Jen had a bad attitude on the boat and threatened to break up with him. Lucas starts yelling about how Jen has no place to live, no money, and no life without him. He is indignant that given everything he does for her, she would abandon him on the island. Jen doesn't care about any of this and only demands to be let go. The couple suddenly hears Mia screaming and the creature growling. Lucas runs towards the screams and sees the creature attacking Mia. He tries to fight it off with a torch, but it smashes him away. Jen frees herself from her restraints and runs to the shore, just in time to see Mia dragged into the sea by the creature. The next morning, Jen convinces Lucas to flee on the raft with her. The couple lights a fire using the last match and cooks all the fish they have left. They load up the raft and set off. The raft is attacked by the creature. Although they shoot their flares at it, the creature pierces the bottom of the raft and drags Jen into the water. We get our first good look at it, revealing that the creature is a kind of shark man. As it drags Jen towards its hole in the ocean floor, Jen stabs it with a pocket knife and it releases her. Lucas jumps in to try and help but is attacked by the creature. As Jen watches helplessly on, it grabs Lucas and drags him into its hole. Jen swims back to the island and saves the fire from going out. Knowing she has no other choice, Jen begins preparing to fight the creature. She makes multiple spears and sets a bunch of fires. She then writes a letter detailing her time on the island in case she does not survive, noting that people have had a problem believing her for her entire life, but that they must believe her about this. That night, the creature emerges once again. Jen surrounds it with fire and stabs it several times. It eventually smashes her, knocking the wind out of her. She recovers just in time and continues beating it with branches and rocks or stabbing it with her knife. The creature lands a few blows, but nothing fatal. Finally, the creature collapses from its wounds and Jen impales it on a spear. Jen decapitates the creature so she has proof of her tail. The camera pulls out to show one three of the island on fire from the battle. Jen stands victorious on the shore but still lacking any means of escape. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you would like to see more videos like this.